So the first subject is parties. Who wants to have a go about that? I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I get invited to a lot of uh, parties, usually as a waiter. Parties have changed as I've got older, you know. Recently, I had to go to a murder mystery party because it's not enough to go to a dinner party anymore and just wish you were dead. <laughs> it's always the same the way you get invited to this stuff. It's always, come round, come round to my house, I'm having a dinner party, yeah! It's not always hosted by Tom Allen, but quite often. <laughs> come along! <laughs> I'm having a dinner party, that's right! But not just any dinner party, a dinner party set in 1956. Ooh! <laughs> There's a dress code, and the dress code is inconvenient. <laughs> You've all got to be in character all night. That's how a murder mystery works. You're all in character all night, right? And the characters of this thing are impossibly international. Right, the representation on display is... I went to this one, there was, like, a Swiss diplomat character, there was a German scientist, a British naval officer. One of the characters was Chinese. None of the guests were Chinese. <laughs> That's a real test of acting range and moral acceptability. <laughs> as Sharon from St Albans attempts to spend her evening as Emperor Yang. <laughs> I mean, she nailed it, but it was not OK. <laughs> I've got my character. My character was needlessly French. His name was Jacques Philippe. And Jacques Philippe was a struggling French journalist in need of a big story to save his career. <laughs> right? But I was mingling. I was in character. I was like, OK, I'll go around. I'll be Jacques Philippe. I was there like, bonjour, bonjour, je m'appelle Jacques Philippe. Je suis un struggling French journalist <laughs> in need of a grand story to save ma carrière. <laughs> Because the French GCSE will only get you so far. As soon as I saw his name, I was like, oh, I hope this guy likes going swimming with his dad or I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>